to it, man. What's up with y'all boys, man? So look, the realest advice, man, every man needs to hear. The realest advice, man, is... This is actually a quote, man, from Tim Gover, right? It's the same dude that used to train Kobe. He trained MJ. He trained uh, D-Wade, too. He said, never let your pride of ego get in the way of you supporting yourself and supporting your family. Don't let your pride get in the way of doing what you have to do to support you and your family. And this is a problem that I used to have all the time. Because sometimes, man, your family might be, your family's struggling, you struggling. And maybe you, you think you're too good to work a certain job. You think you qualify, you overqualify for a job. So here you are, man, looking for this perfect job. But the people around you are struggling. That was me, bro. I used to do that shit. You understand? Because, hey, bro, yo, economy is tough times right now, bro. People got to do what they got to do. But just a year ago, two years ago, man, I thought it was too good, dog, to work a certain job. But you know what? I had to face facts to become select, to become to get to where I got to go, man. <clears throat> You're going to have to work a job that you don't want to do. To do to, Sometimes, bro, you got to do what you need to do to do what you want to do later on. You want to stand? <clears throat> Guys, if you're in a position right now, man, your family is down, man, you're struggling, and you're letting your pride get in the way, and you're doing your family a disservice, man. You want to stand? Like your family's struggling, man. And here you are, man, like, you feel too prideful, man, to get a job or get to get a certain job. I would say, I boy, something right now, man. There is no, there is no just one way to make it. You understand? You hear all these success stories, man, whether it's from a rapper, you know, you understand? A YouTube influencer, whoever it is, man. Celebrities. They all got their own path. Like J. Cole. You would never guess. J. Cole graduated college, though. He went to St. John's. He finished four years. I think he got, like, communications. He got, like, a bachelor's in communications, I think. And he went on to be a fucking... A platinum recording artist. A, a platinum selling artist. You understand? He had a different route. For me, I'm doing this YouTube shit, man. I'm doing this training shit. You understand? Some people, they don't go to college. Some people drop out of high school. Make millions. Never feel like... If you if there's a job that you could get right now that you know is going to pay you enough, that you can grind so you can get to where you want to go, so you can open up a business, man, so you can build your credit up, do what you got to do, bro. All right? And if you're thinking, man... A bitch gonna judge you or she gonna shit on you, man, because you got a certain job, but that bitch is never meant, she wasn't even meant to be in life in the first place, man. A chick that's gonna ride with you, man. She gonna understand the struggle, man. You understand? I've told certain bitches, man, like back when I used to just do Uber, bro, I used to tell bitches, yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. I mean, this, she, bitches knew even when they got around me that, like, I always had that vision. But she ain't skate, she ain't dip off because I told her I was doing Uber at the time. Ne never knock another man's hustle and do what you got to do to get to the next level, man. To get bread, to save up money. You see your family struggling. Don't sit around thinking I'm too good to get a job, to get a certain job, man. You understand me? I had to let go of that mentality, man. Fuck what people think. If I work this job, they're going to think of me this way. Man, fuck all that, man. You the only person, man, that's got a vision. You the only person that know where you're going. People can kind of look at you and kind of think. They can kind of have an idea of what you're going to do or where you're going to go. But only you can see the vision. Only you can see what you're going to look like in five years, in ten years. What you want to look like. You dictate that. You understand me? Bro, God forbid I lost it all, man. If I gotta go work, in, if I gotta go work a blue collar job, 
I got to go fucking whatever do. I got to go wash dishes, whatever it is, bro. I'm just saying, I'm just talking. I'm going to do what I got to do. As men, we got to get back to that, man. I tell y'all, man, as a man, the goal is to be your own boss, right? Of course, man, we want to be our own boss. But to get to that point, though, man, like they say, man, to be a boss, man, you got to learn how to be employee first. And that's facts. You understand me? <clears throat> like, guys, you know, and I had one consultation with a dude, man. I think about a month ago, right? And uh, we were talking, man. He was, you know, he was uh, complaining to me, man. He was like, man, I ain't got no money, bro. And um, I was like, bro, get a fucking job. He said he could go to school, man, right? Out of Memphis, man, Memphis University. I was like, bro, get a fucking job. And he told me all the jobs are taken. I said, no the fucking, are you fucking kidding me, man? All the jobs are taken? What kind of shit, what kind of fucking bullshit excuse is that? All the jobs are taken. Maybe you got to work a job you don't want to do in the meantime, bro. Okay. If I could work overtime, work this job, stack up, I have this amount of money so I can do this. So I can buy a camera or buy... I could buy a setup, man. I could buy a laptop, man, so I can make beats. Whatever it is you want to do. But the thing is, man, we let the ego... I know because I'm talking from experience, man. I'm talking about, like, I used to do this shit. Man, I'm too good at work at Starbucks. You know, I'm too good to work at uh, fucking... Um, you know, you work at Reeds. I'm too good to work at Target. I'm too good to work at Walmart. The motherfuckers getting paid. The motherfuckers at Walmart getting paid. The motherfuckers be working in the back. Now, the motherfuckers be getting, like, 20, 21 an hour. You want to stand to pick out orders and shit like that. So, either way, that's not besides the point, though, man. But don't feel bad where you at right now. Because there isn't, like I said, man, there isn't one way to go get it. You want to stand me? Like I told you, man, some people don't go to high school. Well, I'm sorry. Some people don't go to college. Some people drop out of college. Some people drop out of high school and make it. Some people go to the league. Some people, they do music. Some people do YouTube. Some motherfuckers, they, they become electrician. They stack up the money, then they start their own business. There isn't no one way of making money, man. There isn't one way to go get it and make it. But stop letting to feed you bullshit, man. The media's going to try to feed you bullshit like there's only one way to get it. Dog, you got to be real with yourself, man. What what are you strong at? What are your strengths, man? Like, man, listen. Me, I, people say I'm motivated, right? People say, man, I watch your videos. And you know what's crazy? And I'm going to keep it a bug with y'all, man. I feel like I'm not doing enough, though, when I come on these. Sometimes, dog, when I first saw this YouTube shit, man, I thought I was, I was stupid, man. I, that is, I thought this shit was stupid. Then I'm getting a thousand views and I'm getting 30 people in the comments talking about, yo, you motivated me. And I feel like I'm not going hard enough. But I see now that God, God gave me the gift. This is my sign to, to, to give you all this content, but it's to push the message, man, through my voice, through fitness. You understand? So, don't knock another man's hustle, bro. You got your own thing. But you got to be working on something, man. If your fucking mom is barely making ends meet, your pops is barely making ends meet, and you fucking feel like I'm too good to go get this job real quick so I can work, so I can help my, my family with the bills, or so I can eventually get my crib, get you know, stack up some money so you can get a down payment on a condo or a townhouse or whatever it is. Yo, my nigga, that's not, nah, bro. That's not what we're doing. You, we have to get it by any by any means. Necessary. Any means, bro. We got to get it, bro. It's 2024, bro. It's 2024. Time, time, is, time is moving fast, man. You want to say, let's turn 27, man. When you get older, you start to think differently, like. Right? Like, we still got time. As men, we... we we don't even peak, dog, until we're like mid-30s. That's like our prime. 
I don't even want to say peak, because AMS out here fucking hoes. He like 40, right? So, 30s is like our prime. You want to stand me? It's never too late to start whatever you want to start, man. I started this YouTube shit six months ago. I was 26. When I started YouTube. Y'all boys, some of y'all boys got YouTube channels, man. Y'all 18, 19, and you got a fucking seven-year head start on me. Come on, man. Stay in your fucking lane. I keep talking about that shit. All right? If people going to think of you fucking, hey, let people think whatever the fuck they going to think, man. If you got to go get this fucking job, bro, if it's going to pay what you need it to pay, go get that job, bro. Why are you stressing? Why are you worried about it if that's not even your end goal anyways? All right? Use the job for what it is. A paycheck so you can fucking save up, start a business, get your credit up. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Use the job for what it is, bro. A lot of y'all boys, but y'all get a job and think, oh shit, that's the end goal right there. That's, damn, is this all there is to life? That's where you fucking up, man. You go into, you go into a job just to clock in, but you don't, you're not going to a job with a purpose in life. In the back of your head, you're not like, you ain't got that, that like, I mean, but when I go into my job, I'm not stressed about a job because I know in the back of my head where I'm going, where I want to go. I'm just using the job for what it is to get my money, stack up, and I'm out. Some motherfuckers get sucked into the job because you ain't got no purpose, nigga. Be real with yourself, man. Pray, take some time alone. Learn about yourself, man. Learn your strengths, man. Learn your weaknesses, man. I remember growing up, man, my stepmom, man, she used to push, man, engineering on me. Oh, you going to go to Georgia Tech? You going to go to this? Don't be no fucking engineering, man. I suck that math, dog. Engineering. You fucking kidding me, dog? I suck that math. I got C's in, C's in, in science and math. Engineering. But people going to try to put a certain, they're going to try to push certain things and put it in your face. And say, this is what you meant for. Nah, I'm not meant for that. You might not understand it right now, but it's cool. You guys will see it in due time. You know, and you can't get it mad at people, man. Your family members, man, when they don't um they don't see the vision right now. Because nobody's gonna see the vision like you see it. Guys, I saw this YouTube shit, man. Bro, go watch my look how far I came, man, with this YouTube shit, man, in just six months. I go watch my ocean like, yo, is this was this really me talking? I sound corny. But y'all fuck with it. The point is, man. I had the I had the belief in myself that his YouTube shit was gonna work out. I still got a long way to go. But I proved to myself that I I can't get good at this shit. I'm gonna keep getting better and better. That's all, that, that's all you got to do, man. Put your fucking pride to the side and do what you got to do to support yourself, man, the people around you. Because the worst thing, man, is when you're looking around and people that sacrifice so much for you, and you just going to take that shit for granted. Got parents out here, man, working 65 years old, still working. Nah, that's not what I want. I want to hand my parents a big-ass check. Tell my family, here you go. Go buy a house in Morocco. Or you ain't got another work a day in your life. You ain't got to work another day in your life. As men, we want to do that. We providers by nature. That's what we do. Whatever you got to do, do it, man. Make it happen. All right? And like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. Guys, like the video, man. You guys need one-on-one -on -one training, man. Click the link in my description to book a consultation. Until the next one, I'm out of here, man.